Hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to use the Python documentation generator Sphinx. I'm going to use the Ubuntu PPA, but you could also pip install this. So now that we have Sphinx installed, we're going to need some code to work with. So I have a small Python project in a Git repo we're going to use as an example. So I'll put a link to this description if you want to follow along. Let's just check out this code here. So we're really only interested in these two uh, first files here, test spam and spam filter. So let's take a look what we got here. I've added quite a few um, doc strings here. This is definitely overkill for this tiny program, but we need something to uh, use with Sphinx. So here it is. Sphinx creates a lot of resource files in this process, so let's make somewhere to put it all. So now we're going to run the Sphinx quick start. So we, we're going to stick to mostly the uh, defaults here. But this one is important. We need to click yes for this one. And since we're on Linux, we're going to want to make file. Don't need one for Windows. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So the quick start just generated all this stuff for us. So since we created a separate docs directory, we need to let Sphinx know where to find its build files and the Python source module. So we're gonna to need to edit the conf.py file. So. so right here, this is a, what we need to uncomment. The source path is actually gonna be in the parent directory. I want to show you how we can do this with multiple modules in a package. I have a small test file here. And to enable multiple modules, we're going to need to edit the uh, index RST file. So all we need to do is add in modules here, just like that. So now we're going to run Sphinx API doc. You can see here it needs a couple arguments. So we need to specify its output path and its source path. So we're going to use the current directory for its output path. And it's finding our source modules in the parent directory. So it has created these three files for us. And now all I have to do is run make HTML. So you can see the HTML pages have been built. So let's open them up in Firefox, see what we have here. Okay, so here's our documentation. So it lists the two modules we made. So let's just check out the, this test one is not very interesting, so let's check out the spam filter. And here's all the documentation. It's generated from our doc strings. So that looked all right, but it's not my favorite theme. So let's try one of my favorites here, and that's just Sphinx RTD theme. So now we just need to edit our config file again to let them know we want to use the new theme. And now we just run make HTML again. So let's see what we have here. And to me, this is a much better looking theme. So that's it, guys. That's a quick look at how to use Sphinx. Now, there's a lot more options. You can specify different output formats, you know, LaTeX, PDF, all sorts of stuff you can do with Sphinx. So hopefully this gets you started. Thanks.